so we will see what is the truss element to see what is the truss element uh, we will consider two different coordinate systems in FEA one is uh, global coordinate systems x and y the other one is local coordinate systems let me consider a truss element with uh, nodes 1 and 2 and the length of element b l e now so x dash indicates the local coordinate systems x and y indicate a global coordinate system now after the application of force okay, along the x dash okay x dash direction truss element will act as a bar element it is similar to the bar element okay that is each node of a truss element will have one degree of freedom per node so it will deform only in x dash direction if we consider it with respect to global coordinate system so truss element will have two degrees of freedom per node that is per node will displace in x as well as y direction displacement of each node in x and y direction let's now move on to the derivation of stiffness matrix of truss element let's again consider the global coordinates truss element with nodes then so this is the initial position x dash is the local coordinate systems x and y are the global coordinate system now when you apply the force your truss element will move from its initial position to a new position after the application of load now you can see after the application of load with respect to x dash direction so node 1 will displace by distance q1 dash and node 2 will displace by distance q2 dash so q1 dash or q2 dash are displacements of node 1 and 2 okay respectively with respect to x dash direction that is locally now if you consider it with respect to the global coordinate systems x and y each node will have two degrees of freedom okay that is node 1 will displace by distance q1 dash in x direction and q2 dash in y direction okay in the similar fashion node 2 will displace by q3 in x direction and q4 in y direction so q1 q2 q3 and q4 are displacements of node 1 and 2 in x and y direction okay so let me draw two lines okay which form two right angle triangles one is a smaller one other one is larger one let me take this as a and this as b in the similar fashion we'll do it for node 2 as well and this uh, let be the angle theta so in the similar fashion we'll do it for uh, node 2 as well let this be c and this be d and this be angle theta so displacement element displacement locally so q dash is the element displacement locally so with respect to local displacement q1 dash and q2 dash are the displacements of node 1 and node 2 respectively similarly element displacement globally denoted by q so so it is given by q1 q2 q3 and q4 in matrix form it has been written now let's see what is q1 dash q1 dash is nothing but a plus b from the figure similarly q2 dash is nothing but c plus d now our main aim is to determine the displacements q1 dash q2 dash in terms of global displacement q1 q2 q3 and q4 let's see what will be a using those triangles a and b so what is cos theta with respect to the uh, larger triangle in the with respect to node 1 so cos theta is given by adjacent upon hypotenuse what is adjacent a divided by q1 so what is the value of a then q1 cos theta similarly we will do it for b using the smaller uh, right angle triangle so sin theta is what opposite by hypotenuse so what is the opposite b by 
q2 so what will be b q2 sin theta so we have written displacement q1 dash okay in terms of global displacements q1 and q2 in a similar fashion we can write it for q2 dash as well so which will be given by q3 cos theta plus q4 sin theta okay let this be equation one now let's uh, take uh, write cos theta as equal to l and sin theta equal to m where this l and m indicate direction cosines of a truss element so rewriting the equation one we will get q1 dash equal to q1 l plus q2 m q2 dash equal to q3 l plus q4 m okay so let's write this equation two in matrix form in matrix form, we'll write it like this q1 dash q2 dash equal to lm 0 0 0 0 lm then q1 q2 q3 and q4. You can see in the first equation, you don't have any thing related to q3 and q4. So the values in the first uh, row in the matrix are 0 0. In the similar fashion, in the next uh, equation, there is no q1 q2. So the first two elements in the second row are zero when you multiply you are supposed to get back equation two well at what is q1 dash q2 dash we already discussed in the last slide that is nothing but q dash let's take this matrix lm 0 0 0 0 lm as denoted by l and this q1 q2 q3 q4 r is denoted by q so where this matrix l lm 0 0 0 0 lm is nothing but transformation matrix so what we are doing here is your displacements which are local displacements q1 dash q2 dash are being converted to global coordinate system okay using this matrix l so hence, hence l is called as transformation matrix it transformed displacement from local coordinate system to global coordinate system so this is nothing but your transformation matrix let this be equation 4 now so truss element will be equivalent to 1d bar when it is viewed in the local corner systems when if it deforms with respect to local corner systems x dash it is nothing but your 1d bar only so what is the stiffness matrix for 1d bar let us denote it by k dash and it is given by a e by l e 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 if you consider only with respect to local coordinate system x dash but globally it will be different now let's see what is the strain energy for truss element in local coordinate system so what is a strain energy generally given by u equal to half k x square but here we'll be writing the kx square in terms of matrix form so from the property of matrix we cannot write um, the equation a half k x square okay? because it's very difficult to multiply the matrices so we'll rearrange them okay? we'll use the matrix property multiple so matrix multiplication property so we can write it as so where x is nothing but q dash that is local displacement okay so we can write the strain energy as u equal to half q dash transpose k dash into q okay let this be equation 6 okay let's substitute this equation 6 equation 3 in equation 6 so what will we get so when so we substitute equation 3 in equation 6 so half q transpose l transpose k dash l and q okay so when you substitute the value of q dash in q dash transpose okay so we'll get here l transpose l into q and its transpose let me let me tell you one more property of a matrix 
A into B, if A and B are two matrices, its transpose will be always equal to B transpose into A transpose. Multiplication of A into B and its transpose will be always equal to B transpose into A transpose. The same thing is applied over here. Okay. Now let me again uh, write uh, strain energy in terms of global coordinate systems. Okay. So which will be given by u equal to half q transpose k into q. It is written similar to that of equation 6 but instead of q dash it is q. We know that q is the element displacement globally. Now if we compare the equation 7 and 8. Okay. What is the value of k? So k is given by L transpose k dash and c. You can see it has been highlighted in different color okay so this k is nothing but stiffness matrix of truss element okay. let's substitute l transpose k dash and l in this equation and find out what is the stiffness matrix of truss element okay so what is l lm 0 0 0 0 lm if it's its transpose will be it's a column matrix so you can see so l transposes this one lm 0 0 0 0 lm then k dash is given by this and l is this first let me multiply the first two matrices okay so this all will multiply after multiplication we will get uh, the equation as k equal to a e a e by l e l m minus l minus m minus l minus m l m and into transformation matrix if we multiply these two matrices we will get this expression okay so this is the stiffness matrix of truss element which we will be using in the problems okay as uh, we have used for 1d bar which is mm -hmm. given by a e by l e 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 was in the same fashion will be solving the problems on trusses by using this equation okay that is e by l e l square lm lm n square and the same thing has been repeated so this is the final equation stiffness matrix of truss element